Welcome, Krechi. Kijk na morning live here on SABC2. I just had to say that just to fix things that happened at half past eight in Afrikaans. Well, now, the World Health Organization has always pronounced uh, iron deficiency as the most widespread nutritional disorder on the globe. It now turns out that the condition affects many people around the globe, uh, and it also affects the functioning uh, of the brain. An extensive uh, German study of almost 5,000 participants found that uh, those who with le or with the illness performed worse in memory and other brain functions. So we talking to one of the pharmacists and she's also a health expert. She is Julia Chris Collar from our Cape Town studio. Julia, good morning to you and welcome to Morning Live. Be with you this morning. Thank you very much indeed. Now, first things first, how important is iron in our bodies? Well, basically, Palesa, if you don't have iron, you wouldn't survive because iron is the mineral that carries oxygen throughout the body in the little red blood cells. Mm. And obviously, we know without oxygen, you will not survive. So iron is absolutely critical to the body, and we have to get it from the food that we eat. The body doesn't make it itself. So mm. um, without iron, we couldn't get oxygen to our cells and we wouldn't be able to function. And it's very important. And I've been wondering all along, because I remember during my pregnancy, I was taking iron supplements. How important could it, could it be for a woman to take supplements, especially during her pregnancy? Well, I'm so glad you mentioned that, Palisa, because um, pregnant women are so at risk of iron deficiency, because um, as the pregnancy develops in the second and third trimester, the iron needs of a woman actually increase fivefold. So in pregnancy, especially the second and third trimester, it is essential mm. that a woman takes an iron supplement. But um, generally speaking, women are more at risk of iron deficiency because of their monthly bleeds. Mm. But also vegetarians who don't have animal products, they're also more at risk um, because the iron in meat and chicken is much more well absorbed than, for example, in spinach or uh, legumes. Mm. Um, the other people at risk are also... Um, people who donate blood every month, and um, the elderly, because of their digestive system, it doesn't always work so well, and the nutritional requirements often are not met as one mm. gets older. But women, pregnant women, vegetarians, need to really take care. Now, uh, in South Africa, how prevalent is iron deficiency? Well, it's very, very common, and worldwide, it is the most common mineral deficiency in the world. Um, and they say 80% of people are iron deficiency, which really seems say, strange because in South Africa, we do have access to good food. Mm. But the problem with iron is that it's not well absorbed. So even though you get iron in your food, the absorption is really poor. And so you have to make sure you get enough iron from your food in order to meet your daily requirements. Um, and your body needs about two milligrams of iron a day, which isn't a lot, mm. but essential. So if you do not get enough um iron from the food, what do you do? Is it then where you, where you are also put on supplements? Yes, of course. Ideally, food is your medicine. So start off with your diet. So look, get enough meat, chicken, fish. If you are a vegetarian, make sure you get legumes, your spinach, um, your green foods, uh, spirulina, barley green are good sources. Then if you find that you are tired a lot of the time, you're feeling uh, like quite anemic or you look pale, you've got pale white um, eyelids and you're feeling tired, then what I would suggest is take a good iron supplement. And something like a mineral water which contains iron is really, really well absorbed. That's what I often recommend because the absorption from tablets isn't so good. So mineral water that contains iron is an excellent source um, of, of uh, Thing. And, and I often recommend um, Spartone, which is really good mm. for iron absorption. But then these supplements, do they have common side effects, perhaps? Well, you see, when you take an iron supplement in a tablet form, because it's poorly absorbed, you have to take in quite a lot. Mm. For example, um, if you take iron sulfate, you take in 60 milligrams, but you absorb only 3 or 4 milligrams. So your body has to get rid of the excess, and that causes side effects like nausea and constipation. Whereas Spartone, which is a mineral water, it comes from, um, from England, it contains natural iron in the water. That's just the way that it is. That contains much less iron, 5 milligrams. But you absorb it really well, so your body has to get rid of much less, so you have no side effects. 
And ideally, you want to take supplements that don't stress your body, mm. so without side effects. So Spartone, it has no side effects. It's really well absorbed, and it really meets the iron requirements every day. So particularly if you are very, very tired, I would really recommend that you have your iron levels checked. Just go to your local pharmacy, have your finger pricked, check your hemoglobin levels. And generally speaking, for women, they should be between 14 and 18. And um, that's a general um, uh, healthy level of hemoglobin. Now, there is research indicating that mild iron deficiency anemia does not necessarily cause complications. However, it can become very severe and lead to health problems. Take us through that. Absolutely. If you don't recognize or identify iron deficiency or treat it, what can happen long term is that your quality of life can get affected. Because imagine, Palisa, if you are tired all the time, you always feel exhausted, you've got no energy. That is going to impact on your quality of life because you won't feel like doing anything. You're always feeling tired. And also on a, um, a mental level, iron, low iron levels will really affect your cognitive abilities. So your mental faculties, your ability to think, to concentrate, will be affected. Also long term, if you're depriving yourselves of oxygen, that's got very serious consequences in your body. And not treating iron long term um, will result in, you know, just in general um, uh, sense of, not well, of um, unwellness. So it really needs to be treated. And we've also found in pregnancy, if uh, a pregnant woman starts off being iron deficient, it can really affect um, the outcome of the pregnancy. So you, she might have a premature birth. Mm. And also you can find that um, the child's mental development, the cognitive abilities, can also be affected. So with pregnancy, it's really important that she starts off having um, good iron levels. Well, Julia, that's where we're going to leave it, but this is quite an interesting and important subject to talk about the issue of iron deficiency. Well, she says that, you know, a uh, great diet will lead to you living a, a healthy lifestyle, like she's saying that, but you can also take some uh, iron supplements. Well, we are talking to Julia Chris Colo. She's a pharmacist and also a health expert on the World Health Organization concern on the deficiency of iron uh, across the world. What we